hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel to go funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is funny lungu if there's anything that you guys want me to react to drop the link down below or you can suggest the name also you can um drop the link in my dm on instagram so funny l and i'll be more than glad to react to in anything and everything so you guys just feel free or just feel free to say hi um like i said welcome back make sure to give this video a thumbs up and thank you for all uh 20 000 subscribers you guys are the best i hope you're doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to a very sad incident i wonder what this video is about because it doesn't give much away so without wasting time let's get into the video one incident allahu akbar this is very sad wallahi i heard this recently and qasam by allah i cried this one person he was saying i went to one area and i saw one man he was sitting there holding his head and just just rubbing it like this so he walked past and he couldn't identify him as being a Muslim. There was no identity of being a Muslim. So he said, Un Uncle, you're right. Is everything, everything well? You got a headache or something? And then he said, oh, What can I tell you, son? I'm in very, very bad position. I'm in, very, I'm in a lot of pain. So he said, Where are you from? So he identified his country and his nationality. And it just so happened, funny enough, they're both from the same town. Check that out. Coincidence. They were both from the same town. Now, I don't want to mention country because we're not here to attack personality, nationality or nothing. This is Ibra because we're one Ummah. Kick nationalism to the side, nothing to do with Islam. We are Muslim, one Ummah Muslims. He walked past and then he sat down and said, Uncle, okay, what's your situation? He said, look son, I swear I wish I could, can, I wish I could, you, I could explain my dard and the pain which I feel. I wish I could explain to you the pain which I'm feeling. He said, I came back in the 60s. Poor people, we had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. Allah Ta'ala brought me here. <clears throat> I just saw it happen. I got married here. And I got my after her married, um, I had two kids. But my concern was, I need to build bank balance. Basa basa. I need to build a house somewhere nice and big. So now what happened is he said that I struggled and I worked. I have to now, I've got 11 houses. 11? Houses, a couple of shops. He said, "There's no deficiency in money. I have no concerns when it comes to money." He said, "But when did I wake up and when did I realize that I've gone too far and now I need to take a U-turn and come back?" When? Allahu Akbar. Allah save us all. He mentioned to this person. He said, "Now my condition is such. My daughters have gone mature age." Their regular activity is they go clubbing and so many times I have seen it with my eyes they have brought men back into my house and they had made zina in my house. I swear by Allah I'm not here to fabricate stories to impress you. I'm not here to fabricate a story to impress you at all because this is sharam for us, sharam. But this is the truth of what can happen. And by this time he was crying. Wallah, he was crying so much. And then he said to the, to the youngster, he said that and when I said to my daughter, I said, oh, please have some shame. You're a, you're, a, you're a women. Have some shame. Your that your respect has been stolen. And they're just coming to, the Gaza is there and they're gone. What concern have they got for you? They're seeing you half naked. They're saying, ha, this we can, we easy shikar, easy target here. Go there, finish, bye, see you later. We've got nothing to do with you. Who are you? What? And then he said, I went to my daughter, I said, please look, don't do this for Allah's sake. She goes, old man, you shut your mouth, yeah? You shut your mouth. I do what I want to do. And the mother is taking the side of the daughters. Free, they said, she's got her own mind, she can do what she wants to do. It's a free country we live in. No doubt it's a free country, and alhamdulillah it's a free country. But does that mean we sack our Islam off? We sacrifice the teachings of Rasulullah? Imagine that khabar when it gets to Rasulullah, the pain he would feel. In his khabar, the tarab, Allahu Akbar. My Ummati are doing this, the Ummat is doing this. A beautiful young girl from the, my Ummah with respect has gone out and made shame of herself. And what is the father doing all those years? He said, Qasam by Allah, if I lived in a council house, 
I will be happy that today my daughters received their izzat. We don't know what's going on. That's the truth. We don't know. There are multitudes of examples. So many which I can tell you. And from my gunikar eyes which I have seen. This is actually really, really sad. I'd love to go with the saying uh, that tomorrow is never promised. This is, this is our parents were reacting to like this. If we don't respect them today, when are we going to respect them? If we disregard them today, what happens tomorrow if they're gone? Well, the ones that are going to be crying, all sorts of things, mouthing, all sorts of things. Why can't we give them the respect that we owe them? I, I don't know, no one is perfect, not even me who is saying this because at some point we all do things towards our parents that are just uncalled for we need to remind ourselves our parents are our parents they know better sometimes, sometimes because sometimes they exaggerate but they know better for us the least we can do is be kind they work hard to see us in places where we are now the least we can do, especially if we are still under their roofs, is obey their rules that um, they've made up in that house. We can do whatever we want maybe when we go out, but don't forget where you're coming from. Always never forget where you're coming from. Don't throw away maybe your Zambian tradition because you've gone to Europe and they don't believe in anything or anything like that or something like that. Remember where you come from, never forget where you come from. Don't be confused with the people that you're hanging around with. Your religion is your religion, your culture is your culture. If you practice it, if you practice those things in your house without um, breaking them, then continue them. As you grow up, as you go through life, as you experience things in life, just never forget where you come from. And let's respect our parents and be kind to them. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this video if there's any contributions that you'd love to put down please comment down below if there's any reactions you want me to react to drop the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to them make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video